Hey, it's Barrett with Espresso Outlet. I wanted to do a tutorial on how I clean my E61 machine. I have this Rocket Giotto. It's an older machine, but it's still running perfect for me. Uh, we pull a lot of shots as we do our videos, so sometimes it doesn't get the proper back flushing and cleaning that it should get. So today we're gonna show you how to pull the shower screen off, maybe replace your group head gasket. I like to unscrew the little distribution screen and clean it. I recommend having a nice espresso machine cleaning brush like this one and you'll probably need like a flathead screwdriver to take it apart. So let's get started. Okay so typically you'll get a little bit of buildup around the outer edge uh, usually on the screen itself. Maybe you're wanting to upgrade to one of the IMS screens or just replace your group A gasket. So to get started use a flathead screwdriver and I like to align it in the ear grooves. And there's usually a little lip on the sides of the shower distribution screen. And I like to start on one side, pull down a little bit, and then go to the other side. And usually it doesn't take much for it to just come out. Now let's take a look. It's really not that dirty, uh, despite how much I use it. Okay, so now that we have that taken off, you can see how we have our silicone gasket. I do recommend, even on a new machine, I like to put a silicone gasket on. It just glides into place so much easier. Some people say that their rubber gaskets crack. I've never had one wear out on me yet. Uh, I think they're more of a problem on like maybe some of the Gaja Classic Pros. On this machine, I used it for years before I just upgraded to the silicone and it was well worth the $8 investment. To take the screen itself off, simply just pushes out. So it's really easy to do. I recommend getting some espresso machine cleaner and using a brush like this and scrubbing all of the oils out of this. It'll make a big difference. Next, let's take the, the center screw out. That seems to be where I typically get the most buildup. Uh, I do back flush my machine regularly, but I usually just back flush with water. And the reason I do that is it seems like whenever I use the harsh detergent, it starts to wear away the grease that they put into your three-way valve. So at least for me, you'll get a squeaky handle. It starts squeaking. Um, some other things that I've had happen is on my machine at my house, I have a little PSI gauge right here and I got some of that detergent up in it and it messed up the gauge, so then I had to replace the gauge. I don't know how common that is. I, hopefully this is bad luck, but I'm usually pretty sparing on a harsh detergent, maybe twice a year max. I'd prefer to take it apart and give it a nice scrub than run it through that whole mechanism because you're gonna end up having to take that mechanism apart and do a deeper cleaning eventually. So let's just get the bottom taken off right now. So you may have to remove your drip tray to fit a screwdriver up under it. You can tell this one's been taken out a few times. The wider the screwdriver, the better. Sometimes you need your machine to be heated up, but just unscrew this distribution shower head. And again, it's really not that dirty, but what will happen is these little grooves on the side will get full of oils and then your water will just want to come out one side and not the other and that leads to an uneven extraction. Next, I would typically say use the same cleaning brush, clean this surface, clean all these outer surfaces and then we'll reassemble it. A little quick tip, I usually just get like one of my cappuccino style cups and put my cleaning detergent in and grab my brush and start scrubbing. It might take a little while to get some of this oil off, but that detergent will sit there and it'll kind of start eating at that oil after you put it on with your brush. You don't want to get too much, but if it's kind of stuck on really hard, you may need to let it set for a little while. Okay, it was a little hard to do some scrubbing with the camera in the way, but we took our brush and we scrubbed that out. And now it's time for a reassembly. We went and cleaned this at the sink and we 
cleaned our little distribution head at the sink as well. So to put this back in, just simply start screwing it in. You don't need to get it extremely tight. You really don't. Take your screwdriver and just snug it up. Now to reinstall the gasket, I recommend putting them together like so. And then just setting it in lightly. And then if it doesn't seat all the way, grab a portafilter and push up with your portafilter, kind of locking it all into place. So it's as simple as that. I recommend regardless, I used to have an IMS in this. I actually put it in a different machine for the moment. Uh, picking up an IMS shower screen, very inexpensive. And also picking up a silicone gasket it is night and day difference for just having this nice smooth lock of your portafilter. They're only about eight bucks. So make sure if you're not doing this, I recommend probably doing this deep clean twice a year. I've been pulling quite a few shots on this machine lately and I'm kind of surprised at how clean it is on the inside. I do recommend doing a back flush about for sure a couple times a week. I don't know if you need to do it daily. Daily is recommended, just with water. I don't recommend using a cleaning detergent daily. I really don't even recommend it weekly because it seems like I have more issues with machines that use too much cleaning detergent. That said, if you want to use it a couple times a year, that's fine. Um, you may have to do a more deep dive into your three-way valve as it's going to need some lubrication at some point. That that detergent is designed to remove oils and it's a synthetic grease, but it wants to wash that grease away. So then it makes for a squeaky mechanism. It makes a very uh, gritty feeling valve and you'll need to do maybe a little bit more maintenance on that. But thanks for watching. If you want any of these products, reach out to us because every machine's different. Um, this doesn't work on every machine this way. Sometimes there's a screw in the middle, but 95% of your E61 group heads are going to be this way, so thanks for watching.